Ready to take your swimming skills to the next level? Mastering your kick-in technique is the key. Kicking provides propulsion, balance, stability and body position in the water. In this video, I'll teach you how to master the art of flutter kicking for efficient and effortless swimming. Hey, I'm Dan. I'm an all-American swimmer and the owner of New York City-based swim school. My expert tips, techniques and drills will propel you to new heights, whether you are trying to learn something new or improve your skills. Let's make some splashes. The flutter kick is the most popular and straightforward way to use your legs while swimming, commonly used in freestyle and backstroke. It can also be incorporated into some breaststroke techniques. This video focuses on mastering the flutter kick while facing down, specifically for freestyle. Before we learn how to produce an effortless, effective kick, let's understand why the proper kicking technique is so important. Don't get me wrong, propulsion is essential, but there are more critical functions flutter kicking can give you. Flutter kicking helps you to maintain the proper body position, balance and stability inside the water. The proper kicking technique helps your legs to stay closer to the surface on the same level with the rest of your body. The closer your body stays to the surface, the smaller is the drag and the more effortless swimming becomes. Let's return to the pool and figure out the algorithm for effortless flutter kicking. Positioning yourself the proper way in the water is crucial. Start by floating and maintaining a face-down position while kicking. Keep your body streamlined while trying to propel forward. This position is called prone floating. If you want to learn how to float in the water in 6 easy steps, follow the link in the upper right corner and watch the instructional video. The flutter kicks are produced with both legs moving up and down one at a time. As you kick one leg up, you kick another down and vice versa. Your hips are the driving force and help you to initiate the kicks. Your ankles work like propellers and create propulsion in the water. Your flutter kicks consist of two phases. There is an upward kick and the downward kick. Both phases are initiated with the hips and get the whole leg involved. Make sure to create propulsion while performing both the upward and the downward beats. If you want to learn more about propulsion and its importance, click the link in your upper right corner and watch the video. The downward phase of the kick is produced with the help of your quads and hip flexors. As your feet make contact with the water during the downbeat, your ankle and foot will naturally extend, propelling you forward with each kick. When it comes to the upward beat, it's all about those glutes and hamstrings. These muscles team up to give your kick the boost to power through the water. The goal is to drive your legs up until your heels and toes come close to the surface or break the skin of the water. Consider getting your heels and toes out of the water to create more propulsion. Here are a few valuable pointers that can enable you to get the most out of your kicks. Keep your kicks shallow instead of attempting too deeply under the water. The deeper you kick, the greater the resistance you'll encounter, which will require more effort from you. For maximum propulsion during both the up and down beats, keeping your knees and ankle joints as relaxed as it possible is crucial for better mobility. When you let those joints do their job without any restrictions, you can cover more distance with every single kick. Count your kicks to ensure you kick with the same rhythm to create a consistent, steady motion inside the water. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Pay attention to the sound of your kicks. Determining if you're executing them correctly can be challenging when you can see yourself. However, you can rely on the sounds they produce in the water. The correct technique produces a boiling sound while an incorrect one sounds more like banging. Slow down your kicks. Sometimes less is more. Even though slower kicks create less propulsion, it helps you to preserve more energy and go longer. 
for additional useful swimming tips. Follow me on Instagram where I post bite-sized content every day to help you enhance your confidence in the water. Here are a few drills for improving your flutter kicking technique. Get to the deeper side of the pool. Inhale and position yourself vertically in the water. Your entire body should stay in the water. Keep your whole body aligned. Drive your kicks from your hips and allow your ankles to create propulsion that will cause your body to stay close to the surface. This drill helps create propulsion for the flutter kicks up and down phases. Invest some money into a good short bladed pair of fins and use them every now and then. Make sure you propel the water kicking the water up and down. This drill should be handy, especially if you need help with kicking efficiency. Start your swim with your legs at the bottom of the pool. Produce the rhythmical flutter kicks until your legs reach the surface and align with the rest of your body. Well, and this drill will help you to master your balance, stability and the proper body position inside the water. Grab a kickboard and put one arm on top of it. Rotate your entire body to a 90 degree angle so it looks like you're gliding on your side. Keep your head in the water, including your ear and cheek, allowing your nose and mouth to stay out of the water. Move the water with your whole leg back and forth while keeping your knees and ankles relaxed. This drill helps you to get a different perspective on flutter kicking and allows you to build a good platform for freestyle breathing. Keep your face in the water and look down while changing the directions you move your legs. Drive your rotation and kicks from your hips while keeping your joints relaxed. Using this technique, you can determine the propulsion in the water by flutter kicking on your side and learn to rotate your hips, which is crucial for freestyle. The freestyle and backstroke kicks are similar. By enhancing one kicking technique, you can also improve the other. Therefore, paying attention to the backstroke kick and practicing it occasionally is essential. I hope this was helpful and you learned how to make your kicks effortless. Don't worry if you still need help with the flutter kicks, I got you. Watch the video about the most common mistakes that separate us from effortless kicking and how to fix them.